<laughs> What's up, LG family? It is another week out on the road. That's right. New week, new vlog, as usual. Just admire my surroundings. Pretty nice. All this stuff, don't know what any of it does. But yeah, uh, if this is your first week, first time watching one of my videos, welcome. You are officially part of the LG family. That's right, you are one of us. I am stuck in a glass case of emotions. Hey, let me say something. Let me say something. <laughs> what? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's awesome to have you all here. Uh, you don't have to subscribe to be a part of the LG family, but it'd be greatly appreciated because it, did, it totally helps out the channel, so thank you. And for those of you uh, that return week after week, as usual, I love every single one of you. Cheney's already making fun of me, so I'll have to introduce you guys to Kevin in a second. But as, uh, as I said in last week's video, I was going to talk about our Friday load, which is today, Monday. We're delivering it. Yay. I don't know what this does. I get in trouble. I don't know. I'm about to deliver this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to talk about this load, what we got on it, and how much it pays. So uh, let me go ahead and step on out because this was funny as shit. <laughs> uh, try not to stain any of their stuff so then that way they don't get mad at me. That totally wasn't me. No, that genuinely wasn't me. Yes. So uh, before I get too carried away with the load, let me introduce you to Kev. He's our new trainee. He's going to be with us for five weeks. Say hi to the family, Kev. Morning, LG family. <laughs> he's actually one of us now because he's officially in my truck. I don't know if that was a choice or if he just got stuck with me with unluckiness. But uh, yeah, so he's got to deal with my ass for the next five weeks. But this is his first uh, first load with me with TMC. Uh, what did you think about hauling it? Oh, uh, it's not too bad because um, the load was pretty secured all the way. We didn't have much issues coming around here. The chains and straps, they held pretty tight. So, you know, nothing too crazy. Just, you know, watch your mirrors and just keep rolling. Yeah, see, there you go. Uh, to be honest, when I picked this load up, I had no idea how to secure it. They had some pictures, it didn't really help too much, but uh, I actually had someone that works there come out and be like, oh yeah, dumbass, you need to put chains here. I recommend some straps here. So yeah, this was not by my own design. This is what I was told to do. So I did it and it worked. So that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, so, the one thing that I was going to get into, and I told you guys that I was going to get into this week, was talking about the money. Uh, the reason why I don't usually talk about money is personal stuff, but I think I can push that to the side for a minute because I kind of want to explain a little bit of the difference between uh, what running, running money looks like compared to what weekend money looks like. And I'm just going to have him stand here as like my, um, God, what's that lady's name from uh, Wheel of Fortune? The one that turns the letters? I don't know. That's who you are. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this load right here, we picked up, or I picked up Friday in Kansas. Now we are all the way in Pennsylvania. It's actually a four stop load. It has four different stops that we're gonna be doing. Two of them we're gonna do today and then two we're gonna do tomorrow. Uh, the next one is all the way up in Massachusetts, which is about three and a half hours away from here. And then the last two are actually all the way up in New Hampshire, which is not too far across the state line, which is pretty nice. Um, but the, this kind of load right here, this load is paying $5,000 to the truck. Now, if anybody knows about how TMC pays, we pay on percentage. So whatever you make to the truck, you get your percentage cut out of that, right? Now, my percentage cut is 33%. So uh, in comparison, or well, to compare things, last week I made $5,700 roughly to the truck. At 33%, I'm taking home about 18 God damn birds. Every week you guys are in my videos. Shut up. Uh, that means that out of that $5,700 that I made to the truck, my 33% is about $1,800, give or take a little bit. Um, so last week I made $1,800 to me before taxes. Obviously, Uncle Sam's going to take his dip out um, and then whatever your deductions are. Now, this load they gave to me because I was running, right? Um, it just happened to go through the house, which was really nice. So I was able to stop at the house. So that's just going totally a plus, but they gave this to me. This is what it's considered a running load. 5,700 to the truck on a Tuesday or Monday, Tuesday, however you guys want to look at it. So I'm already starting the, the week off with five grand to the truck. And in a week, 
that we're about to run, I can make an additional 5,700 roughly, somewhere between 42 to you know 5,000, give or take. So now I'm looking at, in theory, I should make almost close to $10,000 to the truck. And I'm no mathematician, but for shits and giggles, what do you think 33% of $10,000 is? Probably like three grand. All right, so I could have the potential of actually making three grand before taxes. That's pretty awesome. That's amazing, yeah, right? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, no college education, all right? I'm a GED certified, I went to a trade school, and all I did was stayed out for the weekend. That's it, that's all I did. I stayed out for the weekend, and I'm getting this kind of paying load. That's what the difference is, is between you going home every weekend or you deciding you wanna run weekends. All right, that's what I wanted to share with you guys this entire time he's been standing here awkward, which I bet has been hilarious for my wife who loves Oh my that stuff. God. Because <laughs> he doesn't know what to say because he has nothing to say. But just so you guys get that, in a week, I can make solo because I didn't have a training last week. In a week, me pushing myself hard, I can make a little over $5,000. When I'm solo, I can make anywhere between four to $5,000 a week and then you know, you take whatever your percentage is out of that, and that's kind of what you're looking at if you're going home. It varies where you are in the States, so don't don't quote me on that on every single place, but especially in the Midwest, you can. If you're running, even every other weekend, you have the potential to get loads like this that pay like this. Um, one, it's cool as hell. I'm hauling, 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 hauling a bunch of Kubota tractors, and two, it pays phenomenal. So this is something for you all to consider when you guys are thinking about it, like over the road, regional, right? If you go home every weekend, that's considered, well, I don't know why I did this. If you go home every weekend, that's considered regional driving. And if you go out for a weekend or two, that's considered over the road. So just keep that in mind, especially for you new drivers, what you're gonna consider on, what you're thinking about doing. Um, but yeah. Sleeping in the cab is not that bad. If, if you're a new trainee, don't get scared. The space is not that big, but it's comfy. It's, it does the job. He said cab, but I think he meant uh, sleeper berth. Whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to poke on him because his wife is watching these videos now, so that way I can help you pick on your husband as well. Come on, too, Janelle. So. <laughs> Janelle, we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we are at the customer now. We're backed up to their makeshift dock. We're going to go ahead and take the very first one off, and then... Uh, yeah, we're gonna head on to Massachusetts to drop the rest of the stuff off. So, uh, talk to you guys, catch up with you guys in a little bit. It's time for that intro. the other one off because they got it too. That's kid it hard, I tell you what, that was fun. Alright, so real quick, the first stop when I talked to you guys, uh, it wasn't exciting. Like it was pointless. So you literally just drove it backwards, it was off and then we were done. This one they had two excav excavators. Um, so I asked the guy and uh, he said I could back one off the trailer so that was fun. So now we only got two more stops going to New Hampshire. We have this big one. This is our last stop. And then we have this smaller one right here. That's gonna be our second to last stop. So, uh, it goes in the middle one. Once uh, Pretty Boy here gets oh, finished putting everything away. That's all you, man. That's all you. I mean, I get that my beard looks fabulous, <laughs> but. Uh, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> 
That goes in the third box on the side door, or like on the side of the wall. But yeah, all right, we're gonna carry on. Next stop, here we come. Ugh. to drive this as you guys just saw oh and then we got to get that pallet off too crap all right everybody so as you guys just saw that was monday's delivery um pretty cool to get to drive all of those different kinds of excavators i ain't got the money to buy them but it's pretty cool to get to drive them especially that last one and as you guys saw um that guy was more than willing to give me a quick crash course on how to drive it. Also, not sign the paperwork until after it was successfully off the trailer in case, worst case scenario, you know, how it goes. So, but everything's good, no issues, can't get mad at me. Um, but yeah, no, it was fun. And uh, yeah, so, like I was saying earlier, this load was just a little over $5,000. We just delivered it all Monday, which means now we still have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to go ahead and knock out some more loads until this Friday, which I actually have service, which is gonna be a short week. But we're already looking at hopefully uh, another load tomorrow that's gonna pay $1,000. So we pick it up Tuesday, drop it off Wednesday. So now we're up to $6,000. And then we're gonna try to get another load Wednesday, hopefully something another $1,000 um, that goes from Wednesday to Thursday. And then and if I could squeak in maybe one more, hopefully we can hit somewhere around $8,000 for the week. And again, at 32%, uh, what's 32% of $8,000? So like $2,500? So like $2,500 before taxes? Um, Y'all, yeah, definitely want that. Although Uncle Sam is feeling very festive because it's 4th of July, so he's gonna really just dip his nuts into my Kool-Aid. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Well, in like a second for you guys, but uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna chill.
what's up LG family it is the end of the week we uh, as you guys saw we picked up that wire mesh we dropped it off the next day it was pretty boring there wasn't really much to show you guys so I didn't record it and then our last load uh, was a Menards load we went to Holiday City for those of you that know what I'm talking about picked up took that down in the Indiana dropped that off got home last night which is Thursday for us well today is Friday now obviously duck I keep track let you guys know what's up and uh, yeah, the reason why we stopped early this week was because we actually have service today on Friday for the truck and trailer. So what we just did is we're leaving the terminal now because we went uh, clean the truck, wash the truck, all that good jazz. And now we are in route. God, I hope my freaking mic didn't sound like crap again. Uh, we're in route now to drop him off at the hotel. And now my mount's not working very well. So. Uh, yeah, so for your first week, we went out, we ran pretty hard, made decent money, which we'll talk about in a second, but what do you think about your first week? Uh, first week wasn't bad. Um, it was a little bit of an adjustment where, you know, getting accustomed to running those miles, but by my, my second day, I was really, you know, getting accustomed to it, start pushing myself and stuff, um, securements and stuff like that. You know, Josh is really good with explaining like, you know, every load is different. So there's no cut, set and dry way to secure every single load. You know, there's, every load is different. And, um, you know, living on the road for a week, it's not that bad the way some people think it is. So if you're challenged by, you know, getting out there and doing over the road, it's not all that scary like people make it sound, you know. It's pretty interesting, pretty fun. I mean, me because I'm with Josh and Josh is, you know, a YouTuber, but yeah, it was pretty fun. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I try to keep it entertaining as best as I can. Not just for you at home that's watching this, but also, you know, for the knuckleheads that I get in my truck. Yeah, like me. Like him. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun poking fun at him. Now the camera's moving again. God, I got to fix this mount. Uh, but yeah, so his first week, as you guys saw, he was doing pretty solid. Really no tissues or anything like that. Tissues. 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 <laughs> Fuck. Um, so, yeah, no, he did solid for his first week. Very impressed. Overall, he's got a really good grasp on everything from the driving to the backing to the load seat camera. Um, so, in which we all, you know, we, we talked about the other yeah, day yeah. when we did our check call. So, you're tracking. And, uh, yeah, so. Trying to those, keep that progress up. Exactly. We'll keep on, keep on trucking, right? Um, but, yeah, for those of you that were interested in the whole money thing that I was talking about at the beginning of the week, uh, so pretty much the breakdown for the rest of the week, we dropped that 5K load off wow. by Monday evening. So Tuesday morning, we were ready to pick up another load. That one was a little over $1,200. We dropped that one off the next day. We picked up another load for another like $1,500. We dropped that one off the following day. And then that last load that we did, which was a Menard run from a DC to an actual store, that one paid about $800. So all together, we made roughly with like tarping and all this other stuff made about eighty seven hundred dollars to the truck so you take 33 percent of that i'm not in a mathematician we think what's you said, that uh you said eighty seven hundred eighty seven hundred probably like two thousand seven two eight somewhere in there yeah right. just shy of three thousand three thousand yeah so yeah uh that's what i made and that was just by me running a week um it's something that's kind of hard to explain to people like he was saying when you get out here you're not I mean, you're new to it, like you're new to the industry, you're new to trucking, so it's, it's a different, it's a life, it's a life change, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, for so real, for real. It's, uh, it, for some people, you know, they're they're big into the home time, which I completely respect, I understand, you know, I got a family of my own, um, but for those I got you, two kids and a wife, see, and I'm doing go. this shit, so you can do it too. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, so for those of you that, you know, you want to get into trucking and you want to make more money, uh, just by me running one weekend, I mean, I, I doubled my paycheck almost, you know, it, it pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much a double on the paycheck. So just by me running a weekend, there's a clear difference as you guys just saw. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's it. That's, uh, pretty much our week next week. It's a, it's going to be a four day weekend because we're home on a Friday and then Monday is recognized for the 4th of July. So for those of you happy 4th of July to all my, uh, fellow Americans and, uh, I don't know, the rest of the LG family across the great big pond. Happy 4th of July to all of you as well. I mean, I get it. Y'all don't live here, but... And to all my Jamaicans watching this, 
we can do this too. Not just the Americans. We're all Americans. We're all Jamaicans. We're all one. So we can do this. There you go. Exactly. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put it better myself. I kind of right. just wing it. So. <laughs> wing it, ding it. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys next week. And uh, later. Try not to stain any of their stuff, so then that way they don't get mad at me. That totally wasn't me. No, that genuinely wasn't me. Okay. It's fucking comfy in this thing, man. This entire weekend I was like, man, I want to sit in one of these. How the fuck do you unlock that? Do you know how to close one of these things? I don't want to man muscle it and then break something and then be like, oh, you broke our shit. It feels fixed, right? Yeah, it feels fixed. So there's gotta be an unlock button. I tried that. Yeah, look at that. See, you're smart, cause I should've fucking ain't. <laughs> Be like, why are you touching our stuff? All right.